Hello and welcome back to Fishing the Barren Sea. This time with my trawler training part one. For those of you who haven't watched my trawler tutorials, please do so first because um, I will not tell you all these basics. You will find them in the tutorials. The game version by now is at uh, 1.0.9 and the crew is already waiting on deck deploying the net and after that we instantly look on our Scanma monitor only if you see a lot of fish beneath your boat right away from the first second we will go on with this catch and you already see that fish are coming in our percentage already showed something now first of all let's send back the crew to have some more coffee <laughs> and uh, back to our scanma monitor well only if you see a lot of fish under your boat after deploying the net we carry on with this catch otherwise we will stop it we will haul back in the net right away and have another try uh, we will have such an example later on in the video You need to um, reel back in to 25, 20 meters so that the crew could uh, all back in the net, even though it's nothing inside, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's a way better idea to give it another try than to drive around, sail around, uh, try to search for fish or something, forget it. But again, we will have such an example later in the video. So with the Luna Bow, remember, the net capacity is unbelievable 200 tons. So the correlation between that weight of the net and the speed of your boat is imminent. So we always need to watch the speed. Remember, four to five knots is perfect, which we have right now. But uh, that's okay. We only have a net filled with 10%. But later on, when this picks up, it will slow down the boat. So uh, my experience about the depth is that um, if you are sailing around like now and there is nothing right in front of your net a depth of 100 meters is a good idea so that's why we will stop now reeling out our lines at uh, 200 meters well, 201, oh, that's okay. And you see the net, the depth of our doors are at 100 or 108. That's fine. Now, if you look around, you will see that the bottom is yellow all over and that is not a huge ground fish population or something that's the ground that is the the sea bottom floor so it's a bit shallow over here right now <coughs> and you can see that 
for those who want to know exact numbers on the Hawk monitor with the clearance C. This is now 30 meters only. C, the clearance, is the distance between the lower part of the net and the bottom of the ocean. That is why it's a pretty good idea to reel in to keep the net a little bit higher, not touching the ground, because this is the Luna Bow. It's not the ground trawler for the ground net fishing. That's the Hermes, right? And now you see that the speed dropped, so we need to give it a bit more power. And the reason why is because we pull in the net right now. We reel in the lines, which gives tension on our boat. So it needs to pull a bit harder, and therefore we need a bit more power. Always uh, have an eye on the speed. In the meantime, we are still catching some fish. You see the icon is at 2 and the 20% already filled, but the clearance, well, now went to one meter, so that means the net is on the bottom. Okay. There's one thing you always need to keep in mind. If you deploy the net, the ocean beneath you is generated, virtually generated, and always is different. So, we don't have a map where the structures below, the depth and everything, always stays the same. No, it's always generated new. And that's why when you don't move the ship and deploy the net again and again and again, the ocean under you will always be different. The fish boards will always be different, the spawning points will always be different, the depths will always be different. Alright? So, uh, it's all virtual in life. Well, at least uh, in a game like this. And that is why it's a pretty good idea if you deploy the net, take a look around, if there is no fish, stop it. Have another try. Don't waste time. Don't sail around. No use. It's not efficient way of uh, catching fish with this game. Right. We have now a depth. You see the net is at 50 meters clearance 4. So that is really shallow. And that is why we will now... A hole in the net. By the way, <coughs> we are on the Barren Sea, right? And uh, if you check the Encyclopedia Britannica or Wikipedia or whatever, you will find out that the average depth of the Barren Sea is only a little bit more than 200 meters. So not really deep. And the maximum depth is 600 meters. Well, <coughs> ah, several times I had a maximum depth of more than that. I had depth of 800 meters or something. No problem. So the parameters of this virtual ocean is, uh, well, maybe not perfect. Okay. Uh, Crew needs to be ready to hold in the net. Click on it. And now this uh, length jumped to 90. And now it correlates to the depth of the doors. I will show you again later. That is a little bug which is still there. All right. So, now there is another bug with the Luna Bow. And at the end of the first step, the net does not appear like now. 
you have the doors attached to the back there on board and it stops at going on position. The net is not there. So there is now. To cure this, there is no use to save the game, restart the game, uh, do something crazy, because you would lose uh, the net. I mean, uh, the filling of the net. This is not sa in the safe game. What we are going to do is drive a circle at half speed or at, let's say, five knots or something and just drive a circle. So we are, I'm driving now right, okay, that's called starboard, uh, full radar to the right with five knots and now you need to go around, 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 driving a circle. You may drive a circle to the left if you prefer left if you prefer port side, no problem with that, doesn't matter. And after some time, up, there it is, the net will appear, will get attached, and the animation will move on to step two and three and four. Now, <coughs> I talked to our developers and uh, they assured me that this bug is a little bit more complicated. Well, as you know, they are now busy with fixing those important bugs which make the game stop or crash the desktop or something like this. And um, that's why for me it's okay that uh, they will need some more time to get to this one. In the meantime, you now understand how to deal with it. This bug appears often. Uh, in my experience, well, let's say every third or fourth time it shows up. And then we drive a circle. Alright. And after that, we start deploying the net again. Changing the crew position and click on deploy. Take a look. Ah! And now you see there is hmm, not much right beneath the boat. And now we will stop it and hold back in the net, change the position of the crew, click on hold in, and again this little animation starts, even though there is nothing inside the net. There are the doors, this time the net gets attached. Hooray! And it really looks full, right? Well, it is not. There is nothing inside, but the animation will be there with those four steps. Okay, no problem, takes only 20 seconds of our lifetime. So, at the end there is no window popping up with uh, uh, how much you catch, because you catch nothing. Uh, bring back the crew, change positions, and deploy right away. We haven't changed our boat position. And if you take a look, the ocean beneath us is completely different. Now there are some fish, and the depth is a different one. So, remember, don't forget your crew. They want another coffee, and some burgers maybe. And, um, <coughs> and now, always remember your speed. And uh, let's reel out some line. A uh, little bit more throttle. And back to the sonar monitor. Now you see uh, the crosshair is on that very left. Okay, now it jumped. Well, that, that kind of fish is moving fast to the left. We will not catch them. 
and the other ones in front of us, well, maybe we get a little share from that. And see, the fish icon jumped to four, to five, which means that already now, even though we are not close to that fishbowl, fish are coming into our net at level five. And the percentage rises. Well, now fish are gone. But at least we got filled 10% of the net. So, what is new to this um, game version 109 is, and you can read this from the change logs, and they changed something with the fish. And there are two parameters, the number of fish and their weight. And they changed this in 109. And what happens is that now there is more fish in the ocean because you get paid the weight. You don't get paid per number of fish. It doesn't matter if you sell 100 or 200 fish matters the weight, the size of the fish. Now that um, has been changed and that is why I have the feeling that now since 109 up uh, patch there is more fish in the ocean the net gets filled quicker. Which is good news for the Luna Bow with its 200 tons net. So, we will uh, stop the reeling out at 200 to keep our standard depth of 100 meters uh, for the doors, for the net. We will have a, a look at the speed. Three knots, well, maybe a little bit faster. All right. Maybe more coffee for the captain now. All right. And as you know from uh, Deadliest Catch, uh, captains smoke like hell. So do I. <coughs> Good idea. Yeah, the percentage went up to 20 already. Even though right between our doors there is mm, well blue water nevertheless you will experience that uh, sometimes fish come in come come in and 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 there is nothing between the doors it's just blue water now this little ball there uh, is too far away and on the left side the nearer yellow one well maybe we Good catch some from there, not sure. Um, so how come that you catch fish if on the sonar between your doors there is nothing? And my explanation for this is that in the Norwegian waters we will find this rare species of the so-called alien mackerel from outer space and they tend when they come from outer space they tend to fall into the barren sea and they are invisible to our sonar systems but they do get into the net well that might be the best explanation for some more barks we still have in the scan mark system, if you don't mind. Alrighty. Now we're getting closer to that big ball. 
and uh, it looks like it is at our left side of the net and uh, what we will do now is even though I always tell you don't go on the, for the crosshair what we're going just just to show you what happens full radar port side to the left with five six knots of speed so the lines will be at a 90 degrees angle and all right we we catched a little bit the sensor uh, went from six to zero and there is another fish ball showing up maybe we also are lucky with that one so the minus 23 is moving towards zero which means in our direction but the plus it means that the fish are shallower above our net the net is at 120 right now so we need to get the net up so the only way if I will ever get that stick so is reeling in that's the only thing we can do to make our net move up to a shallower depth and you would see that the net is not reacting very good, very fast. It will come up a little bit. Ah, yeah, again, no speed. Thanks to uh, the autopilot I don't have. All right. Ah, so, again, the net is coming up slowly but not fast enough to catch that ball to position the net on the right depths no chance not fast enough well after all the net is now filled to let's say 37 percent something which means 75 tons of fish that is heavy so moving 75 tons underwater well that's not easy uh, i have to admit <coughs> um, the net is coming up a little bit a little bit but not fast enough uh, still we got some fish the icon is at three and the 40 percent is now full it seems to me and oh yeah still getting some more 60 percent starts filling up <coughs> and uh, i will go on with reeling in why because uh, you don't you shouldn't wait until your net is full or at 80 percent uh, it will be so heavy that the top speed of your luna bow will be around one knot maybe minus one knot um, that is uh, not like it is in real life I know but this is how the game works uh, the weight which you need to pull with your boat affects the speed very much and that is why if your net is filled with uh, 40 50 60 percent it's a pretty good idea to hold this in because 50 percent means 100 tons of fish right now i'm at full speed and let's see how fast we can go with net half filled half filled well there's still some fish in front but <laughs> doesn't matter have your crew ready 
for holding in. Click. And now you see the length jumped to 220. It was a 20, right? Now it correspond, uh, it correlates to the depth of our doors. 200 meters of length related to 70 meters of depth. That's fine. So again, there is still a bug, and um, but it's not a big problem since while reeling in now, with every click, uh, it jumps five meters, not only one, like usually. You see, reeling in now is four, five meter steps. So it is uh, still fast enough. So let's see, we have, well, no, well, not nearly 50, a little bit less. So it should be something around 50, uh, 90 tons. Hooray, the net is there again. No use to drive a circle. It will get up at the back and lowered in the front. And then all the little fishies get sucked in our tank. So we can go to get some fish and chips tonight. Good news. At the end, my game gets freezed for some seconds. And I guess that my CPU should be upgraded from a 386 to a 486, maybe. Um, uh, it it just calculates your catch and how many mackerel and pollock and stuff is inside the net and this means which weight and so on and so on so at the end of this little four step animation you might um have a little freeze of uh some seconds before the window pops up with the actual catch and then you can move on. So again, deploying the net for the next time. And there was nothing, nothing I like to see. And that is why I stop deploying the net, hold back in, and uh, change, of course, the position of the crew for holding in. And again, even with a empty net, the little animation starts with such a thick net and nothing in. Well, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I need more cigarettes, maybe. Remember Captain Phil Harris from uh, uh, Deadliest Catch in Alaska? Yeah, that's me, maybe. No, I'm not dead. Okay. Well, nearly. So, changing positions on the crew. And again, we haven't moved the ship. Now let's see what we get here. Now, on the next try. Take a look. Lots of fish directly under our boat. You have uh, another water depth as well. Look at the clearance. So this room beneath us, this virtual ocean, like I said, is generated from scratch every time you deploy the net and will look different every time. No use to drive around, no use to change position of your boat, change direction of your boat, heading or so, no use. Just deploy again, take a look. If there is nothing, hold back in, start from new. If you see fish like now, okay, reel out. My 
advice would be um, depth of the doors and that means of the net of 100 meters for the beginning of your catch is a good idea for which on the Luna bow you might need to reel out uh, 200 meters or so and there are already fish coming in wow how come ah I forgot the alien mackerels are there again for me yeah welcome all right because in between of the doors there's nothing nothing yeah and um, and we're not close to those balls you see on the to those fish balls you see on the sonar so it must be alien mackerels from outer space welcome and we already take a look at 20 percent that means 40 tons of fish after only a few seconds and now the 40 percent starts moving up and up wow so this is exactly what i meant if there is no fish under the boat don't drive around searching for what is not there and if you find something you will not get there in time and so on and so on i said it ag again and again and again if there is, is something under your boat like now here you will fill up 20 40 60 percent within seconds maybe and that is the best efficiency you can get on this game and after all it's all about money right so is that the same in real life trolling in real life no not at all in real life Troller captains are spending 90% of their time in searching fish from the front seat with the front sonar. And only when they find some fish, then they deploy the net, right? Now, what we are doing is we deploy the net and then take a look around. Is there something? Oh, yeah. If there's not, stop it. Try again. If there is something, like now, okay, that's fine. Regarding um, the course, I generally set a simple course, and uh, I'm driving that course straight on all the time, only watching and adjusting the speed. Remember, four to five knots just bait straight on uh, no use to try to maneuver to some fish you see you will not get there in time believe me or try yourself so some more alien macros well maybe it's from these uh, far away fish pools which are still light green on our doors but I don't care I take all of them now you see the nearest fish is on the left side let's stop reeling out we are already at 300 meters Ooh, that's uh, too much maybe but there is enough clearance to the bottom And remember, the maximum length is 500 meters. You can reel out. And fish still coming in. Why? I don't know. I don't care. Level 4. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Too many cigarettes today. Or maybe not enough. I'm not sure. So 60% nearly is full. Yeah. I like it like that okay um but again 300 meters uh, line out is uh, oh, a little too much 
Now you see these two big balls, these yellow balls, and uh, the crosshead tells you it's on minus 20, way below us. No chance uh, to get the net down there. No chance. You will even not get uh, the upper uh, yellow ball, um, <coughs> in my experience. No chance to get it. <coughs> so let's uh, simply move on. Ah, by the way, move on. Take a look at, at our speed. <laughs> yes, good idea. If your ship is not moving, your net is not moving, and even fish sticks are swimming faster than zero knots, you will not catch so much, I believe. An autopilot would be nice to have it in the game to say, let's say, set it to four notes or five notes and then it stays there. Wouldn't that be a fantastic idea? Ah, okay. So, the net is uh, now at 200 meters, as you can see on the door sensors. And in between our doors is nothing. Mm. Now, what shall we do? Wow, have you seen that? Now this is the the reboot of our virtual ocean. So not only at the start deploying the net, it generates this room beneath us, but also during our catch, this happens sometimes, like now. Let's reel in the net because this has been generated now from scratch. We have another depth and no more fish. Why? Because now new fish have to spawn first to show up. And yeah, maybe there is a far away a little light spot. Maybe that is more than a thousand meters away or something. Uh, no, no, I, good idea to, to wait for that or to wait for more fish, new fish spawning now under our boat or in front of our net or so. No, no use to wait for this, really not. My experience. Um, you see that in far distance, uh, the first fish balls are coming up flickering a bit in light blue but this is really far away take a look at the crosshair nearly thousand meters uh distance wow no 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 so the net is filled with nearly 60 percent more than 100 tons not a bad catch so i will reel in and haul in the net of course the uh, speed is zero again. Now, full throttle. Let's see what happens with a, a little bit more than half filled net, a little bit more than 100 tons. Full throttle, full speed. In real life, the Luna bow would jump out of the water now and the lines would break instantly. Well, not with our game. The lines don't break here in this game, unfortunately. In real life, you would lose the whole net. And that is a, an expensive one. That is not the small net you are used from uh, the Vibeka Katrin or the uh, Burger, or what was this grandpa's boat called. 
Uh, I mean, these are huge nets. They are expensive. But lines don't break. Okay, that's also an idea. So the result is uh, with your net filling getting heavier, your boat slows down. That's it. By the way, uh, how about a slider for the seagulls or even uh, a check box to switch them off completely? Because after 100 hours of playtime now, I know all of them by name. And it's a nice animation, which I've enjoyed, but I don't need to see it for the rest of my life and this could save some uh, GPU and CPU usage, maybe? Just an idea. So, at full speed, the Hermes is now going at one knot. You can walk faster than that. <coughs> Okay, another look at the sauna. You see some uh, fish are showing up because they do now spawn, but we will not wait for them. Really not. No time. Get the crews out of the bed. Get them ready to all in and have another shot which is, I am my experience, a better idea. <coughs> Reeling in to 25, 20 meters. And then deploy again. And maybe there will be lots of fish right under your boat again. So now, <laughs> take a look, 30 meters, 20 meters, and the net still at 150. Ha ha ha. Uh, what does Einstein says to that? Nothing. So you see it jumped to 270. Maybe you saw it. Let's see if we will have another net buck this time. I don't, I don't think so. So you see there's 180 still, <laughs> but moving in five meter steps. So it will not take too long until the net doors come out of the water and show up to get attached to the back of the boat, to the stern. There you go. Ha! Huh. No net bug. Okay. In my experience, every third, fourth, fifth time, this can happen. Now you know how to deal with it. Drive a circle, have speed, and it will show up for sure. No use to lose the net, to lose the catch, to restart a safe game or something. Forget about it. Now that's uh, it for today. Any questions on the Discord server, on uh, the chat, and also on the voice. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you again. Uncle Yogi, bye for now. <laughs>